Welcome, welcome, welcome to St. James Baptist Church. Hope you've had a wonderful week as we intend to worship God today. To our virtual audience, God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. Come on in and we're going to worship the Lord today. God bless you. need the Lord hey. Jesus and how many of us need him right now hallelujah come on and bless God come on and bless God because we all need him hallelujah we are nothing without him amen amen our God is worthy hallelujah to be praised thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you thank you thank you and before we go into our um, announcements and um, other things here we're going to go ahead and dismiss for our children's church at this time Let's thank God for all of our children this morning. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. And we also thank God this morning for our virtual audience. Let's yeah. turn around and give God praise. God bless you and thank you for tuning in to the St. James Baptist Church this morning. Amen, amen, amen. And for our announcements this morning, we did lose one of our brothers here at the St. James Baptist Church, Brother Thomas Oliver. Yes. Um, he passed on this past Tuesday. His funeral will be um, this Tuesday, April 18th, here at the church. Visitation is 1.30 um, p.m. to 2 p.m., and the funeral will start at 2. Yes. Please keep his family in prayer. Um, our church conference, please be reminded, again, is this Friday, April 21st, starting at 7 p.m., our intercessory prayer will be this Saturday. Please tune in. April 22nd, starting at 9 a.m. Please call the church office for the number. And again, save the date yes. for women's season. Somebody say women's season. Women's season. All right. Yeah. Women's season for the whole month of May. And the Mother's Day brunch, however, is on Saturday, May the 13th. Amen. The cost is $35 per person. You can come to the office to purchase your tickets, or if you want to, you can pay by Givelify. Look for the Mother Daughter Brunch tab. And Thursday, April 27th, will be our last day to purchase a ticket. And also, let us be mindful for the beautiful colors that we are going to be wearing, the pastel colors such as like lilac, um, pink, um, light blue. So ladies, let us get our wardrobes, wardrobes ready. Okay? <laughs> it's going to be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to see the women in these beautiful pastel colors. And so also, um, we're going to be having the prayer of consecration. And that's going to be May the 3rd at 7 p.m., the women's ministry, prayer of consecration. Because God wants to bless all of us yeah. richly. Amen? Yeah. So we are going to be praying in the spirit for all of the speakers, and for every event that will take place for the women's season. Let's thank God for Amen. prayer. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And again, that's going to be May the 3rd at 7 p.m., and you can call the office. Um, I mean, you can use the actual old Sunday school number. If you do not have that, you can call the office, and they can give you that. Amen. 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 So that concludes our actual announcements this morning. And if we do have any guests this morning, would you please stand? Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We truly thank you for coming to worship with us this morning. And you just received a packet from our response team. And you're going to look over that. 
and you're going to get to know more about St. James as we get to know more about you. Amen. And on behalf of our beloved pastor, Dr. Jerome Lee Jr., and our first lady, Cynthia Lee, and the St. James family, Amen. we give God glory for your presence Amen. this morning. Let's just bless the Lord for them. Amen. 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 And on last Sunday, we celebrated our Resurrection Sunday, and we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Yes. A wonderful time. And we thank God for our new converts that came, yes, and God. we just bless the Lord for working, working, and working. Amen, amen. And there is work for all of us to do here at St. James. Yes. And last Sunday, again, like I say, we were busy celebrating and um, doing those things that God has required us to do. And our pastor wanted still to... Um, recognize those birthdays and anniversaries that we did not get a chance to do last Sunday. Amen. So if you were born in the month of April, would you please stand? All right. All right. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy and we wish you more life. To Amen. You. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. A lot of April babies. Amen. Amen. And also, if you got married in this beautiful month, would you please stand? All right. Miss <laughs> Kat, praise God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we just thank God for life and thank God for love. Amen. Amen. Love and life. Let's give God glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all right. And now it's a time that we can all participate in our tithes and offerings. And we truly thank God for being chill for what? Givers. We want to give according to how the Lord has blessed us and enabled us to do. And there's three ways that you can give. You can give by Giblify. Um, you can give as you leave out of the sanctuary when the um, service is over in the vestibule. They have some drop boxes out there. You can put your tithes and offerings in there. And however, during the week, you can be gladly to come by the office and leave your offering. So let us pray over our offering. Amen. Gracious God, our Father, Lord, we count it all joy, Lord God, to be able to give as you have given, O oh God. Father God, you said that we seek ye first the kingdom. Everything else will be added, O oh God. So, God, fill our bonds, O oh God. Let us be the head and not the tail, Lord God. Let us use, Lord God, these tithes and offerings, Lord God, for the upbuilding of thy kingdom, Lord God, so we can do those things. To educate your people, Lord God, about the kingdom, O oh God. And, Father God, live in the overflow, Lord God, as you have blessed us and promised us to do so. God, we love you, and we count it all joy. And, God, again, we thank you for all things, Lord God. Bless beyond measure yes, and use it for thine glory. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. Amen, amen, amen. And what time is it now? Preaching time. Preaching time. How many of us have come to hear a word from the Lord this morning? Yes, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. And we do have one of our own this morning, Reverend James Moses. We thank yes. God for him. So without delay... After another song from our choir, we're going to hear one of our own, Reverend James Moses. Let's give God some glory. Give him some praise. Let us sit with our tent doors open, ready to receive what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Without you, Lord, it won't work. Just won't work, Lord. Just won't work, Lord. Praise the Lord. Take a moment to worship the Lord. Take a moment to take out all the focuses that you've had during the course of the week and just thank him for right now, right here, right now. Realize through all of those things from your past that without him, it never worked. But when you look to him, you realize you can't do without him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this song simply says, by myself, it won't work. It won't work, Lord. Lord, I need, I need you, Lord. <laughs> not I want, not I could deal with, but I need your help. By 
by myself it won't work Lord I need I need your help by myself Lord it won't work Lord By myself, it won't work. It won't work. Lord, I need. Lord, I need. Need your help. God. Need your help. By myself, By myself. it won't work. It won't work. Lord, I need. Lord, I
Praise the Lord, St. James. Praise the Lord, St. James. Amen. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm so glad to be here. Amen. I thank God for this great opportunity, for this privilege to stand behind this sacred desk. God has been good yes, to God. me. Yes, God. And I know he's been good to you. Yes, God. Amen. It's just, but we just say we was going to school back there. So we all are in our places with sunshiny faces. This is the way to start a new day. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For being God. Amen. All by himself. Amen. And I'm, I'm just so glad that he's given me this opportunity to stand here today. I um, want to thank God for Reverend Green. Amen. Uh, for her standing here and opening up this morning. Thank God for her spirit. Thank God for her. Amen. She is a beautiful woman of the Lord. And I thank God for her. Thank God for all of our preachers. Amen. Amen. Thank God for them. And I thank you for your prayers. I know you're praying. Amen. And, and I am a firm believer in prayer. Amen. Prayer has brought us where we are today. Amen. Prayer is going to carry us on. Amen. And we'll continue to do that. As uh, the words say, amen. And my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. And not only that, but I will heal the land. There's things going on, people. And we, 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 we don't have the answers. But God has the answer. Amen. And we got to continually talk to him. Amen. They take all our burdens and cares to him. Amen. He will sustain us. He will take care of us. Hallelujah. I am a living witness. Amen. Of what the Lord can do. Amen. I haven't been what I ought to be. Amen. But I'm not what I used to be. Amen. I thank God. Hallelujah. I tell you what, I'm not stopping. Amen. I'm going on because the Lord is merciful. Amen. And he is a God that understands and he knows all about us. Amen. There's nothing hidden from him. Amen. And I constantly talk to him about me. Amen. And I want him to work on me. Hallelujah. Work on me until he's through working on me. Hallelujah. Thank God for you, St. James. And we're going to thank God for our pastor in a special way. Amen. For his lovely wife. Amen. Thank God for them uh, in their absence. Uh, I want to thank God for the choir. Singing so beautifully. Thank God for the company and coming from Barbara, Larry, and my son is over there. Thank God on the drums. Amen. Thank God. Even his friend. Thank God that you, they are here. Amen. To worship the Lord. Amen. And that's what we came for. To worship him. Amen. In spirit and in truth. Amen. Um, Thank God for him being our help. Thank God for the choir singing that song. Amen. He is our help. Amen. Present help at all times. And I thank God for that. Um, today we're going to talk to you from the 62nd Psalm. Amen. Um, did you pray with me and pray for me? as we open up the word of God to you today. Beginning with the first verse. My soul finds rest 
in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault a man? Would all of you throw him down this leaning wall, this tottering fence? They fully intend to topple him from his lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths, they bless, but in their hearts, they curse. Find rest, O oh my soul. In God alone, my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, O oh people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Low-born men are not are but a breath. The high-born are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together they are only a breath. But not, do not trust in extortion or take pride in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things have I heard, that you, O oh God, are strong, and that you, O oh Lord, are loving. Surely you will, be, you will reward each person according to what he has done. Thank God for the reading of his word. May he sanctify it deep into our hearts that we may bring glory unto the Lord. Amen. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we come humble before thee. We come to say thank you. Thank you for another privilege, Lord, that you have allowed unto us. Somebody said, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. Oh, what a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Father, we thank you. And you know all about what we're going through, Lord. You know everything. You know the secrets of our hearts, Lord God. You know what we're going to say even before we say it. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, that you bless your word, Lord. Use me as your manservant, Father God. Let your Holy Spirit speak through me, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we praise you, Lord. We honor you. We magnify you. We lift you up because you're worthy of all praises. Bless your word, Lord God, as it go forth with power, Lord. I don't want power, but with transforming power. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to speak to you from the thought today. Waiting on the Lord. Amen. amen. That's something I need to do <laughs> before I go any further. I well, thank God for my wife being here this morning. Amen. And she's always here by my side. And thank God for her in a special way. Um, Barbara, I need you to help me with something here. <laughs> Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometime. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometime. I lay awake at night. That's all right. I know Jesus. After a while, I'm in my way. I have to moan sometime. 
Troubled in my way. I have to moan sometimes. I lay awake at night. That's all right. That's all right. I know Jesus. Jesus he will fix it. By and by. by, and by. Stepped in the furnace. Step in the furnace. Long time ago. Long time ago. me, Shep. And a bed me go. They was a word. This I know. Jesus, Jesus he will fix it. After a while, after a while trouble, in my way. trouble in my way, I have to cry sometimes. So much trouble, I have to cry sometimes. I, have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. Oh, I cry sometimes. I cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. I have too much trouble. I lay awake at night. So much trouble. I lay awake at night. Can't even sleep. I lay awake at night. I can't even sleep. I lay awake at night. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. not easy waiting on the Lord. Amen. But that's what we have to do. Amen. So much of life is about waiting. But God is never in a hurry. Or so it seems. God has his hour and delay. Suggest an old reliable sin, thus we wait. Waiting is hard. We twiddle our thumbs, we shuffle our feet, we stifle our yuns, heave long sighs, and fret inwardly this frustration. Why must I live with this awkward person? This tedious job, this embarrassing behavior, this health issue that will not go away. Why doesn't God come through? God's answer, wait a while and see what I shall do. And we got to wait on the Lord. We got to wait on God. Amen. Somebody said he's an on-time God. He's worth waiting on. Amen. I know you've tried it, and I know the Lord has come to your rescue. And he'll never fail us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We can trust him with all of our hearts. Amen. We can lean on him and depend on him. Placing our hope. Placing all hope in God, knowing that God is in control, allows us to wait patiently for him to rescue us. True relief does not come when the problem is resolved because more problems are on the way. 
That's why we, 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 you see, you got you to watch as well as pray. Amen. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Amen. Keep your heart open. Amen. We're ready to receive something good from the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. True relief comes from an enduring hope in God. Ultimate salvation. Only then will all trials be resolved. We've got to wait until the end. Amen. Sometimes the Lord seems like he's not there. It seems like he's not going to answer our prayers. The Lord has heard your prayers. Amen. But just wait a while. Amen. Don't be troubled. Don't be disturbed. Amen. God will answer your prayer. And you know he's answered your prayers today. Amen. And sometime we can talk to him one minute and we got to go back and talk to him again. And somebody say, it's me again, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We got to constantly go to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes conditions. Prayer changes people. Prayer changes situations. Amen. I don't care what you're going through. Take it to the Lord. Amen. And trust him with all of your heart. Not some of your heart, but trust him with all of your heart. Lean on him and depend on him. Somebody say, I found out if I trust him, he will surely bring me out. Amen. Hallelujah. He's that kind of a God. We got to wait on him. Thank you, Jesus. And there's another thing about it, when we are here like we are, it takes all of us to make it to heaven. Believe it. Amen. All of us got to have one another to make it. Amen. All of us are not on the same level. But you got to pray for me. And I got to pray for you. Amen. If we can help our brothers and our sisters to make it to glory. Sometimes it seems like somebody's just like they're going all by themselves. Amen. But we're not like bears and lions, amen, that go by themselves. But we're going together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When all of God's children get together, what a time. What a time is going to be. Amen. And we've been waiting on the Lord. Amen. We've been pouring out our hearts to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Together, praying for one another in our brothers and our sister keeper. Amen. And sometimes we take it kind of lightly. Uh -huh. Amen. But we are valuable to one another. Yeah. All of us are somebody. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care what we look like. I don't care how we might be talking, how we might be walking, but we are somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I think the church ought to be the one to identify with that because we got so much work to do as we see things happening around us. Amen. So much evil going on. Amen. And the church know about the goodness of the Lord. We know what God can do. We know what God will do. Amen. And we need to really call on him. Amen. And let him answer our prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. David was one in the psalm, amen, that knew the Lord. Amen. David prayed all the time, talked to the Lord. He knew about the mercy of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we need to know. Amen. That God is a merciful God. Yes. And we can pass it on to somebody else. Yes. A lot of people think nobody cares. Nobody is really concerned. Hallelujah. But the church people yes. ought to be the ones. Amen. To reach out yes. to our brothers and our sisters. Yes. 
Hallelujah. I don't care who they are, what nationality they are, amen, amen, whoever they are. God loves us all. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You know that. I'm a, I'm a living witness about that. God loves us more than we know. Amen. Amen. I know I don't deserve it. Hallelujah. I don't deserve to be standing here saying nothing about God. Amen. But he loved me so. Hallelujah. Grace and mercy. Pleading my case. Pleading your case. Had it not been for the Lord on my side, on your side, where would we be? Thank you, Jesus. Like David. David knew all about God. Amen. David, hallelujah. He was living. He was so glad that the Lord allowed him to be in the land of the living. And simply means this life. David was obvious, obviously going through a trial. But he was confident that in this present time, in this present life, God would see him through it. Yeah. Amen. David knew from experience what it meant to wait for the Lord. He had been anointed king at the age of 16. Amen. But didn't become king until he was 30. Amen. 14 years. Hallelujah. You got to wait. You got to wait, amen, on your ministry. Amen. You got to wait for the Lord to set you free. Amen. Don't jump in a hurry. Amen. Let God lead you and guide you. Amen. amen. His anointing is on you like it was on David. Amen. He's waiting on you, and you got to wait on him. Thank you, Jesus. In order for somebody else. To be blessed. You got to do what the Lord say. Amen. You can't change things. Amen. Only God can do that. We are working for the Lord. He's not working for us. Ellie, he works for us. To help us. Amen. But we ought to be willing to listen to the Lord. And wait for him. Thank you, Jesus. We need to show enough. Have his anointing. In our lives. Amen. And David. Hallelujah. Thank you. He waited on the Lord. He wasn't made king until. Hallelujah. Till the Lord said so. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of time. We're ready to move. In a hurry. Amen. We think something ought to be done like uh, McDonald's. Hallelujah. Burger King. Amen. Something quick. Amen, but that's not the way it is with the Lord. The Lord has his time. Amen, and you can't hurry God. God is not in a hurry. Amen, we got to wait on him. David letting us know. Amen, you got to wait on the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Waiting for God is not easy. Often it seemed that he isn't answering our prayers or doesn't understand the urgency of our situation. That kind of thinking implies that God is not in control or is not fair. Hallelujah. But God is worth waiting for. Amen. Limitation 3, 24 to 26 calls us to have hope and wait for the Lord, because often God uses waiting to refresh, yes. to renew, yes. and teach us. Yes. And we definitely need to be taught. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to be taught how to get along yes. with our brothers and our sisters. We need to be taught, amen, how to preach God's word. We need to be taught how to witness for the Lord. Amen. You can't do it by yourself. A lot of times we think we can do it all by ourselves because of our big head. Amen. But God don't need your big head. God needs your heart. 
God. Say, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, any woman, any boy, any girl hear my voice and open up, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. I'm so glad I waited on the Lord. I'm waiting. Things are not always in your favor. Hallelujah. Not going to be like that. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to follow the Lord's way. His wisdom. He said his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Even that great love that he has for us. We need it. Hallelujah. We can't make it. By ourselves, I can't walk with Ribbon Green without God's love. I can't walk with my preacher friends without God's love. I can't walk with the church without God's love. I've got to wait on the Lord. Wait on God in the morning, in the evening. In the midnight hour, I've got to wait on the Lord. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I said, wait. Be of good courage. And the Lord will strengthen your heart. Our hearts need to be strengthened. Believe me. Thank you, Jesus. Sometime, hallelujah, we just can't get along. Somebody say it's so hard to get along. You just can't hardly get along. You got to pray to get along. You just can't hardly get along. You got to wait on God. You just can't hardly get along. Hallelujah. You got to wait on the Lord. Wait on him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. David, let us know. Amen. We've got to wait Hallelujah. on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Be of good courage. He will strengthen our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You want to follow our pastor? We've got to do what the Lord say. Yes. Amen. Amen. Follow him. Yeah. He said, wait. wait. Wait on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray for our pastor. Yes. Pray for his family. Yes. Hallelujah. That's the answer. Yes. And wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Amen. That the Lord gives us that to wait on him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And he will fix it. Yes. He knows how to fix it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He's been fixing it yes. from your childhood. He been doing it. I was wondering about it. I see my mother talking about it. Talking about the goodness of the Lord. And I didn't know what she was talking about. Hallelujah. But I found out later on. Well, in the years. Amen. I know mother and my father well, was waiting on the Lord. Yeah. Sometimes they didn't get the answer. But they stayed busy. They kept on working for the Lord. You've got to work. I've got to work. We got to stay busy for the Lord. Don't be idle when I'm talking about waiting. Wait on God. Do his will. Do what he wants you to do. God said, go over there or go over here. Do something for the Lord. Do something for your neighbor. Do something for your friend. Do something for the church. Remember, God wants you to wait on him. Hallelujah. Wait on him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God. Somebody say, I found a friend. Hallelujah. A friend that will never change. Yes. Amen. His love is so divine. And this friend, I find everything. My, my. And who is he? Jesus. Yes. Jesus is his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He walks with me, and he talks with me. 
Not only that, but he tells me I am his own. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory in the morning. Glory in the midnight hour. I'm waiting on the Lord. Are you waiting on the Lord? Are you looking for his help? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, we're trying to... Come on in. Amen. We're trying to end this thing up. Amen. Now I desire your prayers. Pray with me and pray for me. Hallelujah. Amen. That I'll let the Lord have his way in my life. Amen. Not trusting in my own power, but I'm trusting in the power of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't make it without God's spirit. Amen. And say, not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Men in the Bible, yeah. they found out how real God was. Well, they found out what it meant to wait on the Lord. Well, Hallelujah. Yeah. And we've got to do that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We've got to carry on. The Lord left us here. Yes, God. I was telling one of my friends that lost his wife, he made it to me, he said, brother, I, I really miss her. Amen. I really miss her, my wife. I said, listen, I want you to know this, that the Lord left you here. Amen. And he has a purpose for that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to wait Hallelujah. on God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And not go move because you think he ought to move. Huh? Hey, man, we've seen a situation that we thought the Lord should do it right then. But God has wisdom. Hey, man, God moves when he gets ready. Hallelujah. He's sovereign, and I can't tell him just what to do. Hey, man, he knows yeah. what to do. Thank you, Jesus. I need his spirit to lead and guide me into all truth. And we all need it. Well, hey, man, well. the church, the spirit is going to keep us together. Hallelujah. The Spirit teach us how to study God's word. The Spirit will teach us how we ought to treat one another. Hallelujah. Thank you. And nobody but the Lord. The Lord said he'd never leave us, neither would he forsake us. And it's the Spirit of the Lord that's present. Amen. Thank you, Jane James. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. For allowing me this privilege to stand here today. Young people, I want to say something. Remember, the Lord loves you. Yes, yes. The Lord don't want you to get caught up with a lot of these things that's going on. And not only the young people, but all of us need to think about it. Because a lot of things are happening and people's minds are confused. Hallelujah. People don't know whether they want to go right or left. Uh, whatever, you know, uh, the lady this week we heard about that took her children and her life. Hey Amen. Uh, you, you, you know, things are really going bad. So, so church, young people, listen to wise counseling. Listen to your teachers. Listen to somebody that's telling you something good. I can never forget the time. Hey Amen. We had people in the neighborhood would talk to us. As children, when we were coming up, yes. and we thought they might have been telling us something wrong, but we found out, amen, it was telling us some good things, hallelujah. amen, and that's what we need. The church, hallelujah, is what you need, amen. You need people that know God, hallelujah. people that are really waiting on the Lord, like David, amen, somebody that he knew he wasn't really worth it. Then, uh, hallelujah, he knew that he wasn't worthy, amen, but God had mercy, yes, God. and he will have mercy on us. Thank you, Jesus. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, amen, and he will strengthen yes, yes. your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I did that. 
waited on the Lord. Amen. And I need your prayers. Pray for me. Amen. May God bless you. Yes. May heaven smile upon you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Thank God for Reverend Moses. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and bless God. Because that's what all of us are doing and should do. And he will come through. He will come through. He's a witness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we remain standing, the doors of the church are open. Amen. The doors of the church are open. And maybe there's someone here today who's been waiting on the Lord. And we're not sure what has come about in your life. But we do know a God that is able to sustain you and give you an abundant life. So the doors of the church are open. You can come for candidate of baptism. You can come under Christian experience. But please come. Give your life to Christ. Or you can come for rededication. Maybe you strayed away and got caught up in some of the things that Reverend Moses was talking about. Right now, you feel like you're straddling the fence. It may be someone here that Hallelujah. 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 Thank God. One of our own printers. God bless you, son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this time is, is crucial. Because tomorrow is not promised. We have life today. We don't know what's going to happen when we leave here today. It could be someone here that's been coming here for years. And God is tugging at your heart and say, now is the time for you to be about my business. Hallelujah. Come it doesn't Jesus. matter who's next to you or what you think people might think. This is God's business, God's plan, his will for your life. Don't be afraid. We're here waiting. God is waiting. We're doing what he's instructing us to do. Yes, please come. Please come. Hallelujah. 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 Make Thank you, up your mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ah. Your mind. He will. Yes. yes, he will. Just yes, think about will. where you will go if the deaf angel came tonight. Where would your soul go? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, come. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning, church. Uh, we have this young man um, who you plays God. our bongos or whatever those are. Uh, we have Prentice Bennett, Praise and God. he's coming as a candidate for baptism. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you say you can't rush God. Hallelujah, because he's got a time and a place. So we thank God for Prentice for touching his heart. God touched his heart this morning, and we are grateful for this young man. Thank God for the preach word. Let's give God some glory. And this is what soul saving is all about. If we can get a fish, hallelujah, if we can just witness, if we can preach the adulterated word of God that will touch the heart of any man, woman, boy, or girl to come. Hallelujah. Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. And let us be mindful of all of our announcements and hold fast to them. And let us um, pray for our pastor and first lady as they are away doing God's business. Amen. Let us pray for their safe return. 
And again, um, we do have one last announcement about our anointing oil, the consecrated oil that we did um, a few weeks ago. You can come by the church office any day and receive your bottle per family. Amen? Amen. Amen. So again, we have done what God has instructed us to do. And we thank God again for Prentice. And um, Deacon Johnson is going to be talking to him after service. Amen. We thank God for our new members' ministry. Amen. And God is just, just doing some awesome things. And we just give him glory. So I'm going to ask Reverend Moses to come back and give us our closing prayer and our benediction. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Reverend Green. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. You was up here. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Our Father and our strong God, we come humble before thee, Lord. We come to say thank you for this time, Lord, to call upon your name, Lord. Father, you said if we call on you, that you would answer us, Lord. Not only would you answer, but you'd show us great and mighty things, Lord. Something that you always do, Lord God. Something that you will do, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, on the behalf of St. James Baptist Church, Lord. On the behalf of our pastor, Lord God. We asking you to remember him and his wife, Lord. Oh, God, in a special way, remember the ministry, Lord, that you've given him, Lord. Bless him in a mighty way, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for all that he does, Lord God, all that he's doing, all that he's going to do, Lord. Bless him in a mighty way, Lord God. Father God, even the church as a whole, Lord God, help us, Lord, to stand with him, Lord God. Stand with his family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word that have gone forth today, Lord. We thank you for using us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the soul that came to the altar, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we asking you to grant him, Lord God, the thing that he need, Lord God. Young man, growing up, Lord God. Father, and we know that you're able to take care of him, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, bless his grandmother, Lord God, in a special way. Father, we thank you, Lord. And we praise you, Lord God. We lift you up. We magnify you because you're worthy of all praises. And we thank you for the name of the Son, Jesus. And for his sake, let the church say amen. Bless the Lord, Hallelujah. bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you perfect unto every good work to do his will working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight to whom be glory both now and forever let us all say amen don't forget his been a thing don't forget his been a thing don't forget his been what a time, what a time, what a time Did not you enjoy that word on today I thank you for watching us today And thank you for in-person worship today Please don't forget to join us 7 o'clock Tuesday 12 o'clock Wednesday For our Bible study And I pray you've had a wonderful week Join us again God bless you. Have a wonderful day.